Now that we have the high frequency equivalent circuit, we can finally look what we've been talking about all this time. And that's to figure out what frequency can this MOSFET work up to. So we'll figure that out by defining something called the cutoff frequency. That's the frequency at which the magnitude of the current gain is going to go to 1. So if we go to a frequency beyond the cutoff frequency, the current gain becomes less than 1. We don't have any gain anymore. We're actually attenuating a signal. So that's kind of the, the parameter for what the maximum frequency of this transistor will be. So let's take a look at the small signal circuit. And uh, from this circuit, we can write down what the uh, input current will be. We can write down what the drain current, which is the output current, will be just from uh, doing uh, 211 circuit analysis on this small signal equivalent circuit. And then we'll just take the magnitude of the current gain, so ID over II. There's that, e that same equation again, along with the definition of the cutoff frequency. And then that can be used to define our cutoff frequency FT. Or if we, we rearrange things, it's, it's GM over 2 pi CG. Now for an ideal MOSFET, we're going to have the gate to source overlap capacitance and the gate to drain overlap capacitance goes to zero. And in saturation, I said the gate to drain capacitance goes to zero. Uh, the gate to source capacitance becomes about equal to the oxide capacitance times the width and length of the gate. So that means uh, we also have, sorry, the, the transconductance and saturation is according to this equation. So that means we can uh, write out what the cutoff frequency will be in saturation uh, assuming an ideal MOSFET. And you end up with, with this equation here. So you can use that to figure out what the maximum frequency that this MOSFET will work at will be.